Hi, this is Rich Afgar. I'm from Kurt Audio. And one of our new solutions is our uh, tile bridges for drop-in ceilings. We have a 6-inch and an 8-inch. The 6-inch TB6 is good for our CE, CS65 uh, series and our CS65. The TB8 is good for our CE, CS80 and CS80 series speakers. Uh, I will use the 6 inch to show you how easy it is to install into a typical drop-in ceiling. It will be will work easy just on either a 2x2 two two or a 2x4 grid tile. Now, if you notice, it's a one-piece construction. There's, there's, so there's no assembly, so this will save you time on the install alone. Okay, one of the reasons you even have this is to prevent sag on your typical ceilings, especially on a 2x4. If you're in wet climates, the moisture will definitely make this thing sag. This particular one, the TB6, has a 100 pounds breakdown strength. The TB8 has 80 pounds breakdown strength, so much more sufficient than any speaker that you'll be able to mount in the ceiling. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is to take your ceiling tile, if you notice I have a trash can, take your ceiling tile and stack one or more with the uh, face up, otherwise the pattern up. Now we take our typical, if you notice, this thing is same distance of each tile. It's 23 and a half inches. To find the center, you don't need any fancy rollers or X's. You just simply put the on the edge. That is now the center. And if you notice, there's a little arrow here and here. And on the TP8, it has a pilot hole. So after you find the center, you line it up with the little arrows. And voila, that's it. Now take a marker and, and we're using the tile bridge as a template. Mark my hole and then we are going to take a, a fine tooth drywall saw. The fine tooth allows a more cleaner cut. Now we want to cut on the outside of the hole we just drew. If you notice now I can have up to six tiles. I've done this that many. And you can see how easy this will be to cut. Now the reason for the trash can, one, it's a nice support. I don't have to bend over. And also, when I'm done, all my debris falls into the trash can, keeping my work area tidy and neat. So if you have, let's say, five tiles, stack one on top of each other. I don't have to mark each and every one. I'm just going to cut, and they're all going to be done in the exact same hole. So after you do that, just clean, clean the inside, get rid of the, the fluff. And now we're going to turn the ceiling tile over. And we'll take our tile support bridge and mount it with the ribs facing up into the ceiling or on the unfinished side. So we've got a perfect hole. Now, two ways to do this. One method is you can now take this tile, put it back in the ceiling, and mount this. Pull your wire through and then mount the speaker. A lot of guys will would rather take their speaker at this time and mount it before they put it back in. So as you can see, now I'm gonna open my dog legs. Okay, now I want you to take a drill and put it on the lowest torque setting. I mean, like right now, it should be on the torque with, on 
this particular D-Law of number one. And the reason for that is we don't want to over torque down my, my uh, speaker and break the dog legs. So right now, we're ready to, I'm going to turn this around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to... Usually you have four dog legs on a speaker. And you do not want to over tighten, because when you over tighten, the dog legs on speakers, either drywall or this, you'll compress the drywall. And, and that's my installation. Now, one other thing you might want to consider uh, if you're installing 70 volt line, this is a good time to, we have tabs, so these things mount easily on the speakers that I questioned. And you also, it's a good time to put on what we call a speed cap. Speed cap keeps the debris and rat droppings off of your speaker and provides for a neat and tidy insulation. So if this is the way method you would do it, now you just take your ceiling tile, tilt it at an angle, stick it, drop it back in, make your connections. And that's it.